Hi, this is Dennis. I've been abducted by aliens, and I can't, I, I can't do anything. I can't finish the production, man, because I don't know where I am, but I'm hovering around in some spacecraft. I was watering my plants, and the aliens swooped down on the trailer park, and they swooped me up. I don't know what to do. They're like ant people. So full of sugar and spice and everything sweet. That bounty from life is so hard to be. Thanksgiving something, Christmas is nice. But that don't keep me warm at night. Dennis Woodruff, the world's most known, unknown actor. This struggling thespian has become an icon in Hollywood by advertising himself with a fleet of ever-changing art billboards on wheels. This is the story of Dennis Woodruff, Superstar. here at Taco Bell in Hollywood. <laughs> it's great to see you and I'm glad you could join our little party here. So please vote for me for a new movie star in Hollywood. So we were driving up Mulholland and we had a powder, powder blue Buick, with a four door with those white tires. And it was really plush inside, very comfortable. And all of a sudden when we got to the top of the hill, my mother kind of swerved to one side. She opened the door and she shoved me out and I rolled down the hill all the way to the bottom I thought I was gonna die I just kept spinning around and around and I was hitting bushes and hitting rocks on my back and when I stopped I just like passed out when I woke up there were coyotes four of them all around me and they started raising me and I was raised there I realized I was right under the Hollywood sign and I was raised there for six years with the wild coyotes on coyote milk. And I was raised right in the wild in Hollywood Hills. And it's like, I don't have nightmares about why it happened to me and I've never seen my mom since. And I mean, it's like, God, if you're out there, I mean, why did you do this to me? You know, out here you have to be a real shady character in some ways to get those bills paid. You know, like, uh, I've got a $900 a month nut to crack, and I have to do some pretty shady maneuvers to get the bills paid. I'm starring oh, in a movie cool. right now, and I'm going to be doing another, like a $2 million movie this year. And also, a company's Great. coming out next month to talk to me about financing my script for me to star in my own movie that I wrote Great. called Make My Movie. That is, I'm serious. I'm so I should be driving right. a new Ferrari paid for <laughs> by Christmas. I mean, you figure these movies are making 100 million, 100 million. Set aside some money for people to get jobs. You know, don't give it all to, you know, certain people who are just greedy. I don't understand why. I don't know what to do. When I came to Hollywood, I wanted to show how my mind works, my brain, my creativity. I wanted to let people see that I was, I was above all the rest, that I had an imagination and that I can prove it. And so my way of presenting myself to the public was in a much different way, a, a new way, a new inventive way, a way that would impress them. So I used my cars and my clothes and 
my personality to bring something new and different to Hollywood that I personally feel has been missing for probably 20 years. I love women, but I can't live with them. So I guess I'm going to have to find one that I can see once in a while when we feel like it and kind of ease into the situation. But I'd really love to find my soulmate. <laughs> Don't bite. Don't bite. I just want to get a picture. I brought you here and I want I want to tell you, you you losers that all of you represent I'm the emperor of Hollywood I'm right here in the middle of Hollywood I want to demonstrate come on over here come on over demonstrate that I am the true ruler of Hollywood the emperor of Hollywood Dennis Woodruff the king the man of the hour I own all the property I bought all of Hollywood Boulevard and all of Sunset I'm making millions mega millions billions of dollars now on my movies. It's just unbelievable, but you're all losing ant people, scumbag slime, watching me, standing here picking my nose like you own this place. Let me tell you something. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even be here at all because I created this town from a mere illusion. So just remember that. Hi, all you executives over there at Paramount watching me right now. I love you all, and I'm sure you're really great people. I haven't met you yet, but I'd like the chance to sincerely show you my talent and show you that I can be a value to your corporation, your movie business, as an actor. And also, I like to direct in the future. So please, give me a chance, and you'll see I'll shine like a diamond for you. All I need is one chance. One. C'est bon chien. Ils sont dog. Ils sont lovely. Lovely dog. <laughs> this comes from my sweat. And my sweat I have bottled now into the Dennis Woodruff personalized cologne, which when you put it on, you will become a movie star. Okay. You will be a movie star. So even though it costs you a lot of money, buy my product, a thousand dollars a bottle, and you get a free eight by ten picture of me, signed, uh. which you can cherish forever. Here, try some of my cologne. How do you, you like it? You will be a movie star. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> you feel good, huh? Good. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like a movie star? <laughs> Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> here, here, time, time one more. Time one more. <laughs> All right, now you really are a movie star. I'd like to say a word about my new video. Robbing banks can be fun and very profitable. Part-time even, for all you part-timers out there that have regular jobs, you want to keep that as a front. And buy my new video for $29.95. It's how to rob banks and have fun at the same time. Okay, number one, in robbing banks, you must color your hair multiple colors or at least something different from what you already have. Number two, whatever car you're driving, you must display your name in nine foot by four foot letters on top and bottom and also display your name and phone number on the back window. Your license plate must be very catchy like fuck off or something like that. To do deter the cops from chasing you. Number three. What's number three? Um, I don't even know if there is a three. Just look. It's a great video. Buy it. and It'll show you everything you need to know about Robin Banks. I guarantee you. If I can do it, you can do it too. My name is Dennis Woodruff and that's Bank Baby. Uh, I was just wondering if maybe you could give me a little 
you know, like when you sell it on different markets, you give me a bonus. Because residuals isn't anything. It's up to you, man. I'm just laying it to you and you, you, well, you do with What with kind it. of number pops into your head? Well, what would be, uh, I, I'm always a guy that says, you know, whatever's fair. So what do you think would be fair? I mean, you have more experience negotiating these kind of deals than I do. I, I didn't even read this, but I guess later on you're going to blow up all my cars in the movie. I didn't agree to that in my contract. Well, we talked about that, Dennis. I don't remember. Maybe I was stoned out of my mind, but I don't remember you saying you got to blow up all my cars. Yeah, there's that free. one scene. There's that one scene where you drive this particular car right off a cliff. <laughs> yeah. And there's. An <laughs> I could go with that. <laughs> and oh. you know, on this budget, we can't afford any stunt man. Yeah. yeah you agreed to that, man. It's, it's it's just going into the ocean. Now it's on a almost a higher, higher, almost to the scope of. Uh, the new Star Wars. This this is uh, this movie has been explained to me by higher gurus from Tibet that this 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 has a message. This film for all of mankind to see and and seek truth and wisdom from the teachings of this movie. Oh. So it's much more than a movie. It's almost like an odyssey, almost like the Bible. Once you see it, you have you have a whole plan for your life. Yeah, I'm listing in all the uh, 976 porn, phone porn. I do that at nighttime, from about 12 midnight to 8 in the morning. I do. I have a side business where I do porn. Uh, I get people off on the phone. Oh, any, I don't care, midgets, black, white, Chinese, men, women. This is fucking <laughs> insane, man. Would you like to sit on my lap and tell me what you want for Christmas? Thing, <laughs> I've got five cars. Uh, I own my space at the trailer park. I have two trailers. All my bills are paid. I mean, <clears throat> You know, the van I have, I just spent $3,000 cash on it. It's in perfect condition. It's like a brand new car. So, hey, it's, maybe I'm not at the top, but I'm, I'm, I'm successful right now. <laughs> I ran into somebody at the gym today who uh, said he was on the uh, Hollywood Hills Committee. And they said, oh yeah, Dennis Woodruff, he used to, we had a hell of a time getting him out of there. He used to hang out, of, live in his car, and the main problem was he used to shit and piss on everybody's lawns. Is there any truth to this uh, vicious rumor? There were a few isolated incidents when I lived in my car. Uh, at 3 o'clock in the morning, I remember one morning, it was a beautiful, beautiful morning with the moon out. I did squat in a neighbor's yard and take a dump. And when I realized there was no toilet paper, I broke a little tree branch off and scrubbed my ass with it. And I threw it because I was feeling really great about taking a shit because I really, I really, you know how you feel when you really take a good dump? And I flung the tree branch over my shoulder and it stuck right to this guy's window. And I felt really embarrassed that I didn't want to go over there and like pull it off because I, I thought maybe it'd wake him up or something. So I just left it there and it was like stuck on a 45 degree angle, shit was all over the, the window. And I'm sure when he woke up in the morning, it was a beautiful day in Hollywood, he opened the drapes. And I don't know what he thought, but 
it was pretty obvious that someone had a problem. <laughs> uh, this is my guest house. It's a 52 Shasta round teardrop shaped trailer and it serves two purposes to me. One, it's my office. Two, it's a guest house for people that come here and want to visit me from different parts of the world. I gotta take a shit. Can you excuse me for a minute? That's mold, right? Yeah, that's mold. That's pretty bad, man. No, it's not bad at all. Actually, what I'm doing is I, I'm developing a new vaccine for <laughs> cancer. Experiment, huh? And uh, what I've done is I've taken common dog food and I've laid it out here in a pan and let it form this moss. And hopefully I can dissect this and put it in a test tube and inject it into someone's veins and it could stop cancer growth. Does your dog eat that mold? No, he, he doesn't touch it. I told him this is my experiment. Yeah. So he leaves it alone. So. But he likes to look at it and see how it's doing. Oh! I want to be a lead player. I don't want to be an extra, but there's a little bit of money in it, right? $40 or something like that. Yeah. A shot, sometimes 80, sometimes 100. So uh, I'm with the... Uh, the guy that I'm staying with now, he lives right over here. You probably know him. What's his um, name? I'm, I'm trying to think of his, 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 his. He's got a funny last name. He's Jewish. He's Jewish? Uh huh. Most people are Jewish. He's about yay tall. Are yeah. you? Uh, I, I see you got I'm that curly about hair. Converting to me, me too. Jewish. Me too. That's a very popular thing to What's do. Wasn't Sammy you know, Davis? Jr.? Sammy Davis. <laughs> he was Jewish. Everybody huh? talks to me about Sammy Davis. Are you, know? you a movie star? No, I'm trying to be a movie star. Yeah, oh, I, I, I am, but I'm. You know, I'm not. I can't even remember Jeff's last name right now. I, I know who you are. You don't know I'm me? I'm cool, man. Yeah, you I know, know you. Oh, You're okay. a famous guy. Yeah, thanks. You too. I tell him that I, uh, you know, when I get hired, I say, yeah, I know Dennis. You know, I mean, I can tap dance and all that. I'm, ex I'm excellent. I, I do ballet. I study with actors, you know, mostly extras every day. Let's go. Why am I on camera, right. though? I mean, what? Come on. Ow, ow, ow. There's two people getting it on in the back or something. That's why it's jumping up and down. It's a good sound system. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is? Yeah. You know, kind of lean back, lean back, lean back, like I seduced you real quickly, I won't hurt you, and just kind of smile. What do girls like you look for in a guy? I'm not, I'm not really a movie star, I'm just trying to be. I'll be honest with you, I don't want to lie to you. You know, you, they say if you, if you start one lie, then you're going to back it up with another one, so. But I will be famous someday. Yeah. I think you should get a jog strap for that thing. This is called a bozo mobile. What? Yeah, a bozo mobile. I'm a clown. I do clown acts, nude, gay porn. In the year 2015, they will devour and cannibalize any living creature on the planet. Are you prepared for this form of destruction greater than any atomic bomb could ever be? Hitler was nothing compared to the ant people. I am contacting the ant people now. They have a message for me. Athena, the hell of the ant people. You must tell your people to 
go on the ocean and not bother with what you see, for it is out of your control. And you must perish, go away, and do not walk in places you do not belong. Oh, great earth, great master, reveal to me the truth. Reveal to me the truth about the ant people. Help! I must know. I must know the truth. I live in the hills right now, and I'm going back. This is my first day in civilization after six months of seclusion. I live in a cave, and I'm seeking uh, spiritual enlightenment as far as the ant people. I need to communicate with them and I'm starting to do so. But I just needed a break from the boredom of it all because all there is is dirt, cactuses, and it gets boring after a while. So I thought I'd come down and have a quick burrito. I know, ant people, come out. Ant people, come out, ant people. I know you're hiding in here. Oh my, are you an ant person? Are you? Reveal yourself. You are, aren't you? I can see your tentacles. You're one of the little people, the ant people. Ooh. Hey, three dog bones. They're crunchy. I saved a squirrel's life right here, the golf course, and I never got an award for it, for heroic efforts to save an animal's life. But even the, the act of doing so is my biggest reward. I was sitting here a similar day like today, a nice shiny sky, no clouds, and all of a sudden I heard a scratch, 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 scratch. Scratch, scratch. And my dog started moving over closer to that way. And there was like a can, like a big round barrel. This is the pit, the uh, big can where I found the squirrel after I heard him clawing his way out. And see, there's still grease in there. He was right in that pit, in the grease. I finally figured out a way to scoot the squirrel out of the barrel. And then when it got up to the top, like, he hopped and he just like ran and he was like, oh great, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For all you people out there who are skeptics and think maybe I'm a loser, I'm not. Look at me, man, I am bank. I'm telling you, I make a lot of money, man. And you can be like me too. So that leads me to my next situation that I want to present to you. I'd like you to purchase my new $29.95 putting made easy. It's a video that will help you with your golf game and you'll win thousands and thousands of dollars from these simple techniques devised by my great mind and brain. So if you'll come with me now I will demonstrate this new product that will sweep the market and pretty soon this will be the number one video sold in America. So please come now and get your checkbooks ready because you're going to want to buy this product really fast. You know what I mean? Now, with a new Woodruff technique, what you merely do to break all the rules and pull a fast one and win a lot of money is first you smash the green down around the cup so it wants to just kind of go there anyway when they're not looking and then what you do is you smash the ball down a little bit so it it submits to your form of punishment to throw him into this pit of hell and you get down there and you just give it a little nudge and it goes right in and you get a hole in one that's my secret formula. Now I'm going to demonstrate my advanced pool putting technique to sink a hole in one. 
As you see, this shot is not easy to master. You'll have to work hard every day at home with your own balls, and you will master it eventually. I guarantee you one thing, you'll be driving around in a convertible just like this one. So get mine today. Come on. you'd be riding around like a millionaire, just like me. As far as I could see, there's no stopping me now. Now that I've made millions and millions of dollars on my new putting video, I bought the entire valley behind me, and I turned it into an ant refuge retreat. So all the ant people don't have to bother me anymore and they can live in peace and harmony amongst the trees. And at nighttime it's really nice because I don't have to look at them and they're far enough away from where I live that they won't come and bother me. People see me as like a 1990s version of Peter Fonda in Easy Rider and all they have to do really is roll the camera. I mean I'm like the new hero to replace Peter Fonda. He has gone on to more mature roles and I am taking his place as this playful guy who really is a free person. You might look at me like rebel without a cause like James Dean. He had a mission but people hadn't quite discovered it yet and they would through his performance, his mannerisms, his, his awkward way of behaving, his uh, eccentric behavior, probably part of which he borrowed from Marlon Brando, which was already known to be the only man at the Academy Awards wearing a black t-shirt and picking his nose in public and having people talk about him like he was, he hadn't become a god yet, but he soon would be a god in the field as far as expressing himself as an individual. I think individuality is, is, is the bottom line right there. It's, in order to be a great actor, you must find out about your own individuality. If you love what you do for a living and you have a passion about it, then you'll be good at it. And I love show business. And I like it, so I, you know, I can do just as good as any bad actor. I'd like to thank the Academy members for this honor you bestowed upon me. This wonderful Oscar. Uh, you know, I've, I've waited half my life just to be here, and I'm kind of choked up about it, and I, can, I really can't thank you enough for giving me this Oscar for Best Actor. You know, I'll always keep this Oscar and I'll, I'll really put it in a special place. And I'll think about it every day and the fact that you people are so kind to me and you've done something that actually touches me in the heart. And I will never forget it. So please, keep, keep them coming more and more. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I gotta go now. <laughs> oh, and this is for my dog, Tuffy, too. Thank you. Oh, and all the fans out there, keep watching my movies and, you know, keep nominating me every year and I want to be in the movies and cast me, cast me, call my agent. Uh, I'm in Screen Actors Guild, so keep calling and, uh, oh, thanks to my agent uh, who never gets me any work. I get it all myself, but... Hey, just keep casting me. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this, Oscar, and I, I really think it's really nice that you gave me this. And I really probably, when I'm having my breakfast in the morning, I'll put it next to my cereal bowl and just kind of look at it. I don't know, probably get teary-eyed and have my toast. But 
I really appreciate what you're doing. I really do. I really appreciate all the Academy members, all your family. God bless you and may you be happy and have a great life full of money and count all your hundred dollar bills and think of me that you're going to be giving them all to me and oh thank you. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Peace. You know I remember a couple of years ago talking with Mr. Redford. We had a long talk about the situation here in Hollywood. We had a nice country style breakfast at his chalet in Provo. And, you know, I, I looked at him and I said, Bob, you know, we got a real problem out here in Hollywood. What do you think we should do? And he looked at me with a smile and he said, you know, if I were there, I could probably turn it into another Sundance. But he says, since I'm not, I got enough to deal with out here. He says, I got so many horses, I can't keep track of them all. I got horse shit all over the place, and I have to hire a lot of people to clean up all this horse shit, because I got a lot of horses, and horses shit. So I said, well, get to the point, you know, cut to the chase, Bob. So what's the bottom line? And he said, well, you know, Dennis, I really agree with you, you know, and coming from Mr. Redford, this is a big deal, because he said, I really think that people should do something about this problem. And I turned to him and I said, you know, Bob, someday somebody will. And he looked at me and he says, yeah, you never know. Coming in for a landing. Ed's here. Ed. Hey, Ed. How you doing, man? Hey, listen. How you doing? Rolling some cigarettes. We get about that fifty cent per tack. This saves a lot of money. What? Well, what are you? You're rolling it with filters too? Yep. <laughs> yeah. By, by the filters. And I'm waiting for any day. I'm got a, uh, I'm getting new kind of papers that automatically. I just a single machine. I just loads it right in. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I've been having a kind of a rude gas problem lately. <laughs> I heard that, Dennis. Get the fuck away now. I got it on film. Uh, I mean, you know, because he's one of Jerry Springer's tapes. Can oh. I see that? I mean, these guys are fringe uh, kissing this horse and shit. Did I, mean, I see that? Did I we mean, see he's that? having sex with this, you know, it's a small horse. I mean, he's having sex with it. But did it show him humping the horse? No, they didn't show him doing that. Was that, that, that didn't be, you know, this forbidden in, 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 this, in USA. But he did go to the bedroom. They followed Yeah, but they did not show him having sex. Right. I mean, he, I mean, he's kissing him on stage and stuff. Right. I can't imagine that. And then some nice looking woman come on there. She's in disguise and stuff. She's got a male dog as a lover. Mm -hmm. Then some guy comes on there and has got a female dog as a lover. Mm -hmm. It's some guy, uh, somebody asked him, uh, uh, do you do doggy style? <laughs> I love it. I love that. They come to Hollywood to see an actor. Right, and I take pictures <coughs> with them, and I do yeah. the videos, and I shake them. Yeah, and I get Where's Arnold Horton here? Where's uh, uh, Rob? I mean, all these actors. Where are they at with the uh, public who made them? Where are they at? Behind these closed gates. Who's out there with them? Who are they going to remember? Me. That's right. Kiss her ass away up there, or I had relatives up there, and you're working your hard the hard way. 
That's all. Another thing, I don't have a high power <coughs> agent who's going to send me out. I have to kind of go out on the streets and get the work for myself mm -hmm. to drum up the business. Yeah, and I my know. cars help me out you, a lot. You got such such a they see they know every one of them know, know that you're there. You see, you're well, out there. Well, how come they never even came and bought me a hand? Because you know what? They're looking at you like you're doing the job that we're supposed to do. So fuck you. Let you stay out there. Do you think Hollywood is going to give me what I really want to star in movies? Shit, they should fucking give you a fucking star on the walk more for helping uh, every one of these actors out. You're out there doing what they should be doing. it in Hollywood. I'm, I'm going to redecorate the car. It's going to be great. I'm going to put plants. It's going to be like, almost like a moving, a moving garden. That's how I see it. And people are going to take lots of pictures and it's going to be great. And I'll just put these flowers and people won't notice. They won't notice that I got these for free. And it's just going to look really great. I'll get that, that look that I need for my, my movie career. That's it. That, that, I don't want to overdo it, but I think, I think that looks good. Here, hold this for a minute. Hold this, kind of like, stand over here. Stand right here. Right like, here. Yeah, just to give like what it looks like with more flowers. And it's moving down the street and start waving to people because it's like a Hollywood parade, right? So wave, wave to everybody. Yeah. Okay, now we're in a parade. And wave, wave. Hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, hi. 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 Like a star? Yes, you are a star. I am a star. They just haven't realized it yet. You've got to be in this movie that I make. You've got to. It's the bet. It's going to be. It's going to just devastate everybody in Hollywood. It's going to be the most like, incredible. Movie. Well, I love Batman. It's anything like Batman? It's nothing like Batman. But it. But you will be an action hero. They'll be making dolls of you after this. Whoa, They'll look. be merchandising for sure. How much are you going to pay me? Uh, money shouldn't be important. I, mean, I know, I'm you, an you're artist. Gonna, yeah, I, you'll, I, you'll I get a paycheck. You'll definitely make some money on this. Okay. Long term, mostly out, uh, off well, the merchandising. Okay, well, what's the movie about? That's the bottom line. The movie is about a guy who comes to planet Earth to cure everybody's disease. Do I have to do nudity? You know, are there any <laughs> butt shots in it? Because I want to know now. I don't want to wait till the last minute, you know? I mean, you know, look at my ass. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, is that a nice ass? Yeah. Look. It's, yeah, it's round, great. it's firm. <laughs> you want to touch it? No, okay. not really. Okay. But anyway, you know, it's a good ass. So if you need me to drop my pants, I'll do it. I'll see you in a bit, puppy. See you, Tom. I'll be back. I don't know how you're going to get up there. I really, I really should be up there. Well, maybe I should or really should be up there. You just put it over that chick. There you go. All you need is like some uh, chewing gum to stick it to it. You need a piece of tape. All you ants! 
people out there, you little morons. What do you want from me, you bunch of little ant people? You don't matter. I'm the emperor of Hollywood. Can't you see it? I'm the king of Hollywood, and you're a bunch of weasels, nine to five, nothing. Can't you see all my talent? I made it. I'm the king of Hollywood. I'm the king, Dennis Woodruff. You little ant people, you losers. You losers. Can't you see my talent? Everybody. I'm the king of Hollywood. Dennis Woodruff, worship me, not someone else. Hey! I finally figured out what my true purpose in life is. What is it? To reveal the true source of information about the origin of the ant and how it will affect future civilizations. And I'm telling you, I hope you don't work for the National Enquirer. Because the whole planet is going to be covered in ants, red ants, eating the flesh off every living creature that walks the earth until all it is is a desert with bones. So you really are an ant person. It looks like an ant person, look. I better get out of here. See you guys later. Oh, you'll see me later. Does that mean you'll prey on me when I'm asleep at night up in the mountains? Now you've come down here to figure out my my patterns so you can go back and tell all the other ant people. It's nice to meet you. Bye-bye. You're Good. holding back, aren't you? You don't want to give me the true information, do you? I know about you guys. My first experience with the ant people was one night I was parking my car and I live in West Hollywood and as I was parking my car on the street some people approached me out of the sewer and I was so alarmed and they were trying to overtake my car because it was a convertible and I was very frightened but once I mentioned Dennis Woodruff's name they said oh he's Dennis Dennis and they worshipped you and so they let me go and they didn't bother me anymore so I'm a believer now. I don't scare easy but <laughs> ant people really upset me. Um, they don't dress nicely, they have big butts, <laughs> they spend a lot of time in the sewers, even more time than I do, and, I, you know, that's hard. It's really hard on a person realizing that there's more down there than you realize at first, so I, I, I don't know, I'm speechless. Well, I don't know if you guys have heard about the ant people, but they're a mighty fucking scary bunch. They live with the mole people under the subways in New York City, about seven stories down. And Dennis Woodruff is actually a descendant of the ant people, so I highly recommend that you stay away from him as far away as possible, or you too will become an ant. I drive literally 14 hours a day just around town. I put a lot of miles on this car. I've gone through about 28 sets of tires. Um, multiple breakdowns, towing. Hope it makes it through this uh, movie before it blows up. I do a lot of the mechanical work myself and uh, it's not very easy on a low budget like I am, but somehow I managed to pull it off. Okay, let's go. I'm on a mission from God. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I won a million dollars and I own the company. <laughs> if I were you, I'd buy a ticket today. You never know, you might be a millionaire too for only one dollar. Right on, dude! Yeah, I'm a winner! I'm so happy now that I'm gonna buy that oil truck right there. <laughs> just so I can cruise around Hollywood. And I thought about it, man, it's perfect. I can paint my name right across the tank. It's great. It serves as a mobile billboard and to deliver gas. I mean, when you're a genius, there's so many ways to make money. You think of millions of ways to make money when you're a genius. Last night, I got up to take a piss at like two o'clock in the morning. It was really dark inside my trailer. And I reached over and I picked up, I hit the piss can. It's an old coffee can. 
and the thing toppled off the counter and hit Tuffy in the head. <laughs> and all the piss that had been fermenting for about three weeks dripped all over him. And it was like so disgusting. And he was like looking up at me like, wow, what did I do wrong, you know? And I like petted him and cleaned him off. But I mean, it was very disturbing. Oh, you want a dog? No, thank you. Oh my God! Tuffy, come here, boy. Tuffy, what they do to you? The more rich neighborhoods I I have to stay out of because they don't like my hand lettering style. They like stencils. But the older neighborhoods, the the more poor people, they don't give a shit what it looks like as long as it's on there. As long as it works. Yeah. So well, they're not as picky, you know, and well, they're me, easier to work with. Why don't you use stencils? <clears throat> I've learned the art of freehand painting, and it's a lot more fun, and the paint is water-based, and it washes right off your hands at the end of the day. The key to painting curves is you must have a good brush, not an expensive one. This particular one costs 49 cents a paint in a hardware store. Now you need that because your lettering in this situation is very important. Okay, and this is the lettering brush. This is the white background brush, so it really doesn't matter. You just goop it on and it dries very quickly. So, we're ready for the fun of painting curves. My way. Four, six, six, two. Four, six, six, two. You know, it's so easy when you have paint and a nice brush. It goes right on even when it's wet. The art to curb painting is you have to quickly paint right over the white with the opposite color. That in itself blows people's mind how I do that. You know, a lot of people don't realize that the purpose of these numbers, in case of an emergency situation like a fire, the police, the paramedics, 911 call, your numbers are easy to read at nighttime. If you had a home security system for $10 protecting your house, do you think it should be like this? Or would you rather have this home security system for $10? Of course, this one would work. The other wouldn't. It only makes sense. Get out your pen, your piece of paper, and send me a check right now for $29.95. I will send you my home video. Curb painting can be fun, a great experience. And for those of you who are an outdoorsman, this is the ideal ticket. You can even take your lunch break and do a little skeet shooting. Shh. Boom! Boom! But don't get caught. <laughs> now there are a few obstacles, you might call them, to look out for when you're doing this. But the risk gives you really that adrenaline rush. First of all, You'll have to hide in bushes sometimes from the police if they surround the block because you don't want to get busted. Second of all, if you see a little tiny white car that says City of LA with a little sticker, that means they could give you a ticket for this because you don't have a stupid little piece of paper that says City Business Permit. So what you do to get around all that is you paint one block very quickly and then you go on to another part of town and paint another one. Even if they do show up, it usually takes them 20 minutes to get the call. And by that time, you're on the other side of town making some more money. Right on. Here's our first $10. Only 100,000 more curbs, and you'll be a millionaire. So what are you waiting for? Get started. Now that we've made an easy $10 painting addresses on curbs, I think it's time to relax at the beach.
what were the reality of the odds for my life to be a success? And I thought, well, even though I take the risk, show business is a much bigger payoff, you know? I'd rather either have it all or nothing, you know? And at least in show business, I have the opportunity to have it all. I gotta get to the beach. You know, if I were planning my next vacation and I was from somewhere around the United States, looking around me, I'd love to come to LA. I mean, what an ideal situation. Bumper to bumper traffic, smog, and irritated people. Wow, sounds like a great place to have some fun. Ha. Move out of the way, you idiot. Move out of the way, I gotta get to the beach. You're only going five miles an hour. This is a freeway, man. Jesus, what's wrong with these people? They're all a bunch of idiots, morons. I gotta get to the beach, man. Oh, God. I got a headache. Splitting headache from this traffic. Hey, don't drive so close, man. Making me nervous. Oh, boy, it's great to be at the beach, finally. So you want to join my fan club? Yeah. All Actually, right, thanks. Here, one for you, <laughs> one for you, <laughs> one for you <laughs> and one for you, oh God, so and one cool. for you, so cool. and Whoa, one for that. you. Oh, my God, these are, these are gorgeous things. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, my name is Dennis Woodruff, and I'm an actor, and I'd like you to join my personal fan club. And Can I see your uh, tattoo thing? Yeah. We all got one. Turn around, Brie. And then I got uh, this. Wow, those are really <laughs> great really tattoos. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's the henna stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. Those are cool. Did you get one, too? No. They oh. spent my wad. Okay, do you want to uh, <laughs> do you want to take a picture or do you have a camera? No, or you just yeah, stop yeah, by to say it. hi. They're drying off so They're drying off their tattoos. He's getting mobbed by all his fans. See, look at, <laughs> see? Techno. Technotronic. Oh, wait till you hear the soundtrack for this movie. Really? It's just going to blow your mind. <laughs> But if oh, I good. did, I would have told you that. Oh, God, that, that would really make me nervous. <laughs> Say your name for me, sir. Dennis Woodruff. And what is your name? Before we start, I just want to know who you are, your soul, your My name your is aura. Beatrice. My name is Beatrice. Beatrice the, the, the wonderful or <laughs> magnificent or just Beatrice? Just Beatrice. Okay. All right, see how you write all close together? Yes. Okay. You, you want write... me to put more space in it? No, next no, time? no. This is the way you write. This is what it's going to say about you. Okay. Your handwriting shows long life. Oh, good. I, I, I was hoping you didn't say I'm all screwed up. It shows many good years ahead of you. It tells me you're going to die of old age and not of sickness. Good. You had some health problems in your past. Yeah. You had some ups and downs in your past. Life hasn't been at its very best for you. But the energies, Dennis, is very positive right now, which is indication that there's changes coming up, there's promotions, there's opportunities coming up. Your handwriting shows that you're a good person and you're good-hearted. Oh wow! But I, 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 you know, I want to, I want to make millions and millions and millions of dollars, and I'm on on the road towards that right now. I want to be the number one movie star in the world. Well, the energies are very positive. There's opportunities there. Life is going to be what you make it. You've always been an ambitious person. You always get a good start at things, sometimes maybe even reach to the top, but you're having a problem staying there. It's like you reach to the top, then you feel like you're falling. 
But with the energies being positive right now, Dennis, I can tell you that you are reaching to success and happiness in life. Do you think I'll get that chance someday to put my name on the Walk of Fame in Hollywood? Is there possibilities there? Not, not that you would know for sure yet. But could what I? What you're maybe... gonna find is happiness. I don't know if you're gonna be able to sign your name in the Walk of Fame. But you will find happiness, that I could tell you, that I'm very sure about. Well, happiness hey, is coming your important. way. Keep a smile on your face. Reach out for the things that you want in life. Justice will be served. I'm going to pray for you for spiritual guidance. You'll make a nice donation. Okay, I want to buy you a Rolls Royce. You do. For this reading, but I, I, I really can't afford it right now. But would you take an IOU and then when I make it, I'll buy you a Rolls Royce. You know, and but I'll still pay you, but I mean, just to make sure that... You feel well compensated for your wisdom and advice. I, I know you're going to be very sincere when you make a lot of money, and you'll see me here. I'll okay. be here. So if I drive up in it, what color do you want? Just to thank you for all white. you've done. White. Everything should be white. will that be on? So, dude, why do you attract psychos? <laughs> I don't know, man. There's something that my wife says the same thing. It's just strange people come up to her all the time, and you know, and I go, well, look at me. Here I am. I don't know. But there's something about it. It's like if I didn't, if she didn't have that openness, she wouldn't be with me. If I didn't have that openness, you wouldn't be with me because I'd be thinking like everybody else in Hollywood that you're just like some weird fucking freak when I know that you're like, just kind of like a I'm normal not guy. I'm not a freak.
fit the booger? <laughs> Man, you really you're are really, a superstar, aren't you? Yeah, you're really tweaked. <laughs> but I don't have a booger in my mouth. I would never eat boogers, man. <laughs> never. Yeah. You must be having some kind of delusions. There's like uh, probably, I'm just guessing, a million cars in L.A. And it's like I'm the only one that has a multiple color car with just like, you know, what I do to my cars. And I would think there'd be other eccentric people that would do not the same, but express themselves this way. And I never see it. Are you gonna take my picture? I'm posing for you right here on the balcony. Why is everyone hanging around this guy? Who knows who he is? He's I just, some, I, I'm what a lunatic. Yeah. There's a rumor floating around Hollywood that I'm Dennis Woodruff, the new leading man of the cinema. I accept that. I can deal with that. I'm ready for that. I'm ready for success. I sure as hell didn't come here to fail. A lot of people in Hollywood kind of have the perception that Dennis Woodruff is crazy. Well, what do you would you say to that? <laughs> um, if you think I'm crazy, then you haven't seen my work. Psycho. Scene two, take three. You must kill her because she's an evil person. I'm your mother. Listen to your mother. Listen to your mother, who's most important to you, your mother. But mom, please, I don't want to kill her. I'm your mother. Listen to your mother, because I am the main person in your life. You must listen to me. I'm your mother. If you say mother one more time, I'm going to cut your throat out. Don't talk to your mother like that. What's wrong with you? How I brought you up. You had a good job. Shut up, mother. You're driving me crazy. Please, mother. Shut up and listen to me, killer. Get the knives. I bought you the new cutlery set for your birthday. It's going to be fun. Listen to your mother. People used to say James Dean was weird. They said he was crazy, you know. They said, oh, he's something wrong with that guy, you know. But then his work surfaced, and they found out that he was this unique talent. Attention, Hollywood. A bulletin, emergency bulletin. The ant people have invaded Hollywood through the sewer systems. They're now walking around all over the city and trying to move into apartments, houses, condominiums, anything they can find. So beware, they will even crawl in your balcony. The ant people are everywhere. After two and a half months of traveling around, I arrived in Venice, Italy, by train that is. And I got off the train and I wandered around the city and I headed towards what I believed was St. Mark's Square or Basilica. And I walked through the square and two gentlemen were f coming towards me on both sides with knives drawn directly towards me. I said a prayer to my Lord, protect me. And I walked directly between the two of them as they passed by me in the opposite direction. Well, the moral of the story is that my life was saved through a miracle of God. I'm still standing. I mean, I've never met a person in my whole life, artistic or not, 
that wanted to photograph their shit for two months on a daily basis and right. then document it. Right. And then say it's art. Don't you think, don't you think that's interesting? Well, I guess you, if you're like Charlie Manson and you're looking for some kind of sick turn on, it might be very erotic. But me personally, I don't even like to look at my shit when I wipe my ass. See, yeah. I, I love to study my shit. Yeah, that's... that's and, that. and, and every day it's different. It's like if you ate like plums the day before, you can see how it comes out different than like the next day you eat spaghetti. Oh, so you're like experimenting what you eat every day? To well, yeah, and, and, and sometimes there's like a lot of like little ones and sometimes there's like one big long one and sometimes there's just like a little nugget or two and you can't yeah, squeeze I mean, it like, out. Would your wife sit there and study the pictures as you're studying? Uh, no, would she Would she wouldn't. start laughing? when she'd see him? Uh, she, I'm sure you showed her a few uh, of them. She didn't really get behind it. Do, do you know who uh, Marcel Duchamp is? No. He's like a French artist, early 19th century. Yeah. Well, he, he outraged, like he could paint and stuff and sculpt, but he outraged the whole art community when he presented something, it was uh, just a bicycle seat. Oh yeah. And he presented that as art. And everybody's like, that's just a bicycle seat. That's not art. And he's like, no, just look at it a different way. It's art. And then he actually did a, a, a toilet. He did a toilet after that and presented that as a great art piece. So all I'm doing is taking it one step further. Well, I, you know, it stinks. To me, it just stinks, the whole idea. You ought to be in pictures. You ought to be a star. You ought to be in pictures. Just the way you are. I wish I knew the words. Oh, Tuffy. Are you jealous? Yeah. No. There you go, Tuffy. Yeah. Oh, oh that was good. Very nice. I buy some for myself, but I have an acting career to support. It's okay, but you can enjoy no. it for yourself. Yeah. And, and enhance your own career and your state of being. It raises your energy level, feel better. Well, you know what? I have 90, 90, 95% of my body is filled with toxins. Right, I got to go to Okay, <laughs> and embalming fluid. That's what keeps me going. <laughs> lots of coffee. <laughs> and lots of coffee, <laughs> weed, cigarettes, and masturbation. That's what I'm all about. See, a lot of people, like a lot of my friends, man, they're really into health foods and stuff. Yeah. And they're like taking vitamins and eating spirulina and vitamin E and all, all this like really health, oh, I don't eat meat. And then right. you find out they have this like really severe drug habit, you know, that they're concealing because they feel like they're damaging their body with these hard drugs and they're trying to at the same time balance it out with this like really good health food man and it's like it's not gonna work it's like one way or the other it's like you're either Keith Richards or you're uh, some health free you know it's a good salad you like that huh yeah, good iceberg lettuce. <laughs> Love that iceberg lettuce. Sometimes when I'm eating a salad, I feel kind of like a dinosaur, you know? Because that's what they ate. And I'd be like, ah, no, no, no. Ah. Mm, another good tree. I'm going to eat the tree. I'm a dinosaur. Ah, no, no. Because dinosaurs, they didn't really care about manners, you know, so sometimes when they'd be eating the trees, they'd be like, mm -hmm. and it'd like fall out, you know. They weren't, they weren't worried about it because there was no one there to tell them they couldn't. Oh, yeah. 
One thing about a dinosaur you have to remember is they try to fill their mouth as full as they can with every bite. So it'll be kind of like, kind of like this kind of a bite. And then it's like spill out a little bit. And, you know, like when they swallow, they have a big esophagus, so they can really pile it down there fast. Why are you looking at my car? Why are you different? What do you mean different? It's different, it's all cars. You think I'm weird? No, I think it's just different. Different? You think uh, I can be a movie star? I think you are. You gotta get a shampoo, a facial, a manicure. I'm gonna get a pedicure. I'm gonna get a tinning, uh, eye pluck, eyebrow plucking, uh, nose hair plucking, uh, body hair waxing, pulling off the hair. I'm gonna get um, my uh, hair trimmed on my arms. I'm gonna get uh, my car lubed. No, he doesn't do that. Uh, I'm gonna get everything. You know, I had a dream about it. That you and I were uh, lying across Hollywood on a magic carpet. Yeah. And you were massaging my You're back. Crazy. No, I'm not crazy. This really happened. Oh, uh, really? And you were massaging my temple. I think you're nuts. And I felt really good. I felt, I felt like I really belonged. I feel the bleach seeping into my brain uh -huh. and I feel, I feel a little bit dizzy. You know, I'm having some problems lately with my lover. What's wrong with it? Well, What's wrong with him? What's wrong with you? No, it's, it's not him, it's not me, it's just what he does to me. He tries to jam his cock down my throat and it's like really big, it's 16 inches. Oh. And I can't breathe, and then he shoots all this cum down my throat, and I start choking. <laughs> and I really want to please him because I really think I'm in love with this guy, but somehow he always goes back to the scene like he wants it three times a night, and I can't take it. I mean, he just starts thrusting it down my throat, you know, and my head's banging up against the headboard. You mean a one-way street, uh, one-way street. Yeah, and I mean, it's, it's really kind of disgusting when you think about that this guy, he wants to grab my head, and he says, I want to just, like, thrust your head into my dick. Sometimes, like, I'm trying to get dressed, and he's, like, biting my ass. He's like, oh, 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 oh. I'm like, stop it, man. It hurts, you know? And he's like, oh, you like that, don't you? <laughs> I can't. It's terrible. It hurts. <laughs> He's like, ah, ah, you love it. She was losing back light. And then, oh, we went to see the movie, you know, Star Wars. And he's like, come on, go down on me, you know? And I'm like, not in the movie theater. And he wanted me to like, so he's, he rams my head down. And he's like, and the people behind me are going like, hey, what's going on? And he's like, chair. Come on. ramming my head. I didn't know you know that much about the gay life. <laughs> Yo, Adrian. Adrian, it's me, Rocky. Adrian. Adrian, it's me, Rocky. The ant people have even infected the entire stratosphere. And they are multiplying as we speak in outer space. I am the king of the ant people. I am your new ruler. Forget about the emperor of Hollywood. He is merely but a slave, a servant to the ant people. We will take over now the earth, and you will be happy and well fed until we eat you. We are going to eat you because that's our ultimate plan. We need food. Food. We need food. <laughs> we need food, and you're our food. Now, I want to tell you, if we don't do something about these ant people soon, we're going to be in big trouble.
because they've already come to my house and warned me that this city probably only has two years of potential survival left. They are going to come here in full force. They're already migrating here from Alaska. Full force. More troops than any army you've ever seen in your life. And they are going to completely cannibalize every living thing in the city. <laughs> oh, my plan is so devilish, I can't help but laugh. Oh, 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 oh. There's going to be bones everywhere. So if I were you, I would take to higher ground, as they say. Because when that time comes, it's going to be massive chaos. People are just going to be like freaking out. And you think you can just get in your car and split. No, by that time, it's too late. It's like an Alfred Hitchcock movie, The Birds. You're going to get pecked to death. Thank God I'm alive. I'm healthy. I have my legs, I, I have my looks, my personality, my wit about me, and my brain is working properly. I buy this, this, this thing I've seen on TV that someone drank brake fluid and like killed themselves. And I'm like, ha, I wouldn't do that. But I had it in the front of my car and I was carrying it around. And I got scared and I thought, well, what, what, what would happen to me if I drank this, you know? Like, my whole insides would like disintegrate and I'd be like dead. So I thought, well, maybe, I don't know if I'm really having these thoughts or maybe I better check it out. So I went to the emergency room and it's like, they took me in and they kept me there overnight. They shipped me all the way, I was in Palm Springs, they shipped me to, uh, you know, in one of those rubber suit thing, they thought I was crazy, and I said, look, I'm not crazy, I just don't know why I'm thinking like this. And they made me sit in this little tiny room, and then they transferred me in this stretcher with straps across it, and then the next day I got out, and I was in Riverside, and I had to take a bus all the way back. My car was there and everything, but I mean, I don't understand why that happened to me. And I got this, these hunks of styrofoam and I glued them together with, uh, with some, it's called liquid nails. It's uh, like a tube that you, like a caulking gun. Yeah. And I cemented these together and then I carved it down into, uh, it's styrofoam like a surfboard with a grinder and also a file and a and some putting some bondo over the nose. And I wanted hair but I didn't want you know like mop hair or I didn't want like rope. I wanted it to look like hair but then I thought well film because you know film is like strands of hair but the same token all my whole car is really basically about film, filmmaking, acting. This is an eight millimeter camera here that works and you're being filmed right now as we speak. But um, I wanted the theme to repeat itself to where it's like film acting, film reels, film cam cameras taking picture, Hollywood action, action, you know, make my movie, cover all my bases, starring Dennis Woodruff. You know, instead of like for years not giving myself credit that I could star in a film, now I am. I finally accepted the fact my higher self has said, Dennis, with a little more confidence, you can do the lead in all the movies in the world and they won't need any other actor but you. Whenever they make a movie, who else do we call? Dennis Woodruff, of course. Commercial, take one, action. Hi, my name is Dennis Woodruff, and your name? Ethan. Yes, have, uh, have you heard about my new celebrity cologne soon to hit the market in all the major department stores, Gucci's, Robinson, Macy's, all the big stores. It's called Dennis Woodruff Celebrity Club. I see. And I'd like you to try a sample. Wow, what do you think? Very nice. Very I nice. like that. It's very nice. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Very subtle, but very masculine. 
All right, I like that. And uh, would you find this to be from one to ten? I put it around maybe an eight. An eight. Yes. Okay. Well, if you want to purchase a bottle, they're fifty dollars each. But the catch is. You get a free signed 8x10 headshot from me, from Dennis Woodruff, the owner of the company. I see. So is that a good deal for people? That sounds like a good deal. Uh, I'd like you to try the new uh, unisex Dennis Woodruff Celebrity Cologne for men and women. And it's free to try, just like you can try a sample. Okay. And honestly, tell me what you and your girlfriend think of it. It's more for men than for women, in my opinion. It's very what? It's more for men than for women. Okay. My opinion. It's more masculine. Do you like it on a man? Do you think ah, it would yeah. be sexy? I think it's very sexy on a man. Wow. But I don't think it's for a woman. It's a okay. little... A little bit. Yeah. It's too strong for... Too, too dry for a woman. How much you charge that? $50, but you also get this photo signed by me. Do you want the salad? I agree with you, good luck, but I stick to the classicals. <laughs> the thing is about me is I'm so known around the world, LA takes stuff like this for granted, but in reality it's very hard to achieve. I mean, for any normal person, try to go out there and become famous. It's not easy, you know, especially on a very, very low budget. So, what I'm doing is breaking grounds in areas where I'm using my car as like an art form, but also a form of advertising to reach people on television. I mean, you figure, if you put your name on national TV for, what, 15 seconds, as big as that, what would it cost you? A lot of money, huh? I know people that are on TV series that don't get as much publicity than me, as me, that are regulars, so. I mean, you can sit there and make fun of it and say, oh, you know, what value is, is it? It's, it's ticket sales value because everybody knows my name. So I've elevated myself from an unknown actor to a known person with a, with a bucket of paint. So I'm going to go in now with my uh, reel and my picture and resume and give it my best shot. You never know, it might be my big break. The other thing I have right now is um, I have this Korean, um, I need to fill these Korean roles, and I've got a lot of, are you recording? Dennis, you, you, you do Korean, don't you? Well, you know, I really don't have the eyes for it, the slanted eyes, but maybe we could do something with makeup. Well, well, I thought you'd done Korean before. Haven't you done like those like Japanese karate yeah, movies and stuff? Hey, ha, ha. I've been here and you're the most famous actor that's walked in, in these doors. I am the most famous unknown actor in the world. Really? I mean, I show up at Sundance and the whole town goes wild. You know, they just it's just like Elvis arrived. I mean, there's something about me that the public loves. And I like it too. I mean, I'm a born entertainer. Deal with it. Most entertainers are not totally boring, quote, normal people. They have exceptional qualities that make them stand out in any situation. And people I like really weird stuff. <laughs> and you can take that to the bank. <laughs> What's the name of your magazine? Sanorama. You may consider me an opportunist the way I just had my picture taken for a major magazine in Taiwan. 
However, if you don't seize the moment, it never will be. So that's why I do what I do. There really is a method to my madness. Hi, it's me, Dennis. I'm putting on a show for people, and the tourists and people from all over the world, they love what I do. They see me on TV over 300 times. I've never heard a complaint. So sure, there's the snobby Hollywood mentality of, you know, everybody thinks they have this magic formula for success, but the reality is 90% uh, of the people that make movies are failing anyway. So I think my formula is, uh, is a hot one. They just did a poll for People magazine and they they believe that I'm the most sexiest human being on the planet but they don't specify what sex that really bothers me. My business has flourished and now I have over 120 restaurants. I serve ant food to people and I have a delicacy almost like um, caviar from ant eggs, it's wonderful. All my businesses are making money. In fact, I'm thinking of opening a studio across the street from Paramount to compete with Paramount. Why not? If you want to be like me, you better get off your lazy ass and start working like me seven days a week. And then you'll be a big success. Even though at this point in my life the ant people are somewhat controlling my life and my destiny and everything about me, I still have my free will, so I am still somewhat in control of my existence, which I like that. And if I lose that, that little bit, that edge, then I will end up like an ant person. And I'll, my, my mode of dressing will be very regimented like the ant people. My lifestyle will change and I'll be eating strictly ant food and we'll go underground with the ant people and become one of them. And I'll be forced to marry an ant woman. And that, that really scares me. I'm holding on for everything I have, but I still somewhat have control. So I'm not, I'm not going down the tube, man. I'm, I'm going to fight my way out of this one way or the other. So let me ask you, but what do you, why do you want to take a picture? It's incredible. It's uh, something new, something. Uh -huh. It's very fascinating to me. All these pictures, colors, and it's very interesting. Is this the first time you've seen it? First, no, not first time. Oh. TV, yes, I've seen it. You've seen them on TV oh, yes, before? Yes. That's more deeper, actually. It's an inner view. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's very. It's something behind it, from this earth. It's something, you know. Huh. Yes, it's. <laughs> <laughs> Yahoo! I want to wish you congratulations oh, thank you. for your wedding. Yeah. Thank you Come very on much. Over here. We'll do a little yeah. shot. <laughs> Wish a blessing for your wedding. And I give you the Dennis Woodruff blessing. All right. And may you go on in, in happy life together. And remember that God meant for you to find each other. And you will be happy together and create wonderful things for the world. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're very wonderful people. <laughs> and also, I'd like for you to come see my movies. Sure, anytime. Okay. It's wonderful. Nice to meet you. Will you kiss the bride? Oh, sure. <laughs> you want a tongue or no? I would like to have you both join my fan club, and with this, I make you an official member of the Dennis Woodruff International Fan Club. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Be happy to. Okay. It's nice meeting you. Best wishes. We had to completely repaint the whole city of Hollywood to do these scenes. Every Every time you see us driving down a street, we had to repave the entire street, the whole block. In fact, sometimes we actually have to rip out stores and put new stores in so it fits the movie.
that entire mountain that you saw in the background, I had to dig all that dirt and bring it over in the back of my car. And we had to build that set. It was a lot of work. And the essence, what I'm, what I'm trying to tell you here, the enriching experience of being an actor is the struggle. The struggle, if you're a spoon-fed person, you're not going to get that character that you need as a top performer. For the last 10 years, I've been doing three to five to six TV shows a week worldwide. And don't kid yourself, television is very powerful. And when they keep seeing me over and over and over in different parts of the world, Argentina, Venezuela, Latin America, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, England, just Australia, New Zealand, uh, Canada, over and over and over and over and over and over again, hundreds of times. And everyone likes this, this spontaneity about me. That is very powerful. And I knew that I could turn this charisma about myself from TV to inspire people to come and buy tickets in the movie theater. You know, I've had enough of this movie making, film and shit. I don't know what you call it, but I think you're trying to probe inside my mind and dig out my little brain. You're like an alien, and you're just like monitoring my activities. I think the bigger picture is you work up there somewhere in the solar system and you got to tap into my intelligence and take it home and show all the aliens and they can learn from me. Well, I'll tell you something. I see right through your plan and I'm not going to tolerate it anymore. I'm getting pretty damn pissed. I think I'm going to carve me up a turkey. Do you get the message? Dennis totally lost it after making this movie and was under medical supervision for some time. However, he bounced back with a series of hit films propelling him to the superstardom he enjoys today. This year, the mayor of Los Angeles declared August 15th Dennis Woodruff Day and had this parade held in his honor. I'm Dennis Woodruff and I finally arrived. My success is right here. All these people have come to see me in this parade. And now I'm going to be the big star that I am and I'm very proud to be here. And all my success is coming to a head right now like a big zit. These are all my fans out here. They've all come to see me in this parade. Yeah. I've invited over 60,000 people, and about a third of them are here already, and I've heard that the freeways are jammed. Okay, turn it off. Why? Put my pants on. So?
kind of what some actors will do for 10 bucks. <laughs> I'll tell you, I don't think it's worth it. I think I'm going to become a plumber. Hell with this business. This isn't working out the way I expected. I don't know if I could even consider this a classical performance.